Metadata is simply a fancy word for information about data. In our case, the data are the image files. Metadata is not a new concept, but with the onslaught of digital cameras over the last decade, it's taken on a primary importance. So what does metadata mean for us? Well, if I click on an image, you can see in our metadata panel the first instance of metadata, and that's the exposure information. You can see the aperture, the shutter speed, the ISO. All of this metadata comes from the camera. As soon as you press the shutter button, your camera records a wealth of information about your digital image that travels with the image. So this is our first instance of metadata, and it is recorded automatically. Let's find out more about metadata. I'm going to get a little more room on the screen. I'm going to close this preview panel by control clicking on the Mac, right clicking on the PC, and selecting close preview. I'm going to drag this pane over to the left to get more room. Under metadata, we have various fields here. I'm going to open up file properties. We've got basic information about the file, the file name, date it was created, size, color mode, all that good stuff. Let's take a closer look at the camera data, also called EXIF information. You can see the lens that I used to capture this shot. I didn't use a flash. I set my white balance to auto. You can even see the make, model, and serial number of the camera that was used to capture this shot. All of these are examples of metadata that come directly from your camera. Now let's look at the IPTC panel. Here is where you have information that you add to your image. I've got all my contact info up here. I've got location information. This image was shot in Rocky Harbor in Newfoundland in Canada. I've got my copyright information down here. Notice that at the right of each field is a pencil. That means it's editable. We can add or delete information here. If you want to add a title, simply click in the title box, enter it. You can add instructions. You can add rights usage terms in here. So all of these fields you can change, you can add information, do whatever you want, and the information will travel with your file. I'll type something in here. Now, anytime this file moves, whether I email it to someone or upload it on the web, this information will stay in here. Let's drag this window a little bit. Bridge is now asking us if we want to apply these changes to the metadata. We'll hit apply. Drag this out a bit wider. And I want to show you a few more fields. We've got camera raw information. We're going to be talking about camera raw in the very next chapter. But here you can see the camera raw settings that have been applied to this file. Metadata is really well implemented throughout Adobe's products. So again, we can see information from Camera Raw here showing up right inside a bridge. If we've got audio files, video files, we can see information specific to those formats. Keywords are another form of metadata that you can work with in Bridge. I'm going to click to open the Keywords panel. You can see the Bridge ships with defaults, but it's easy to create your own. I'm going to go down to the New Keyword button and click that and we'll type nature. You can also create sub keywords that will appear inside the parent keywords. I'll add that by clicking on the new sub keyword button. So inside nature we're going to have a sub keyword titled clouds. Now what can we do with keywords? Well just like with regular metadata we can assign or tag them to images that will make it easier to find them later on. I'm going to scroll down here in the content window and let's find some clouds. There we go. We've got three of them. I'm going to click to select the first image. You can see that I have already assigned the keyword clouds to it. To assign a keyword, all you have to do is click on the box next to the word in the keyword panel. I'm going to click this second image. That has been assigned clouds as well. Now what I can do is move over the clouds keyword, right click on the PC, control click on the Mac, and select find. Our find criteria automatically comes up to search for keywords containing the word clouds. I'll simply hit find and now Bridge has found all of the images that have been tagged with the keyword clouds. Keywords are a very powerful way to add information to your image that can be leveraged later on when you go to search for them.